Welcome to episode one of the Wine Vaults video tasting blog. Each week from now on, we're going to get a live kind of internet tasting for you that you'll be able to look up um, time and time again for reference about the wines and stuff. And um, basically, we're just going to taste two to three wines, maybe even just one on certain occasions, depending on what it is, and discuss them, um, taste some sniff, and then just appraise them kind of. Unfortunately, using kind of uh, Robert Parker's kind of 100 point score, usually kind of like, be kind of like the 20 point score by the um, British wine writers, but um, most people really do understand the 100 point wine score and it's a lot easier for them to do in a kind of percentage kind of way. So um, that's what we'll do. Uh, the first one that we're going to try is going to be Astrolab Pinot Gris, um, made by Simon Wackhorn, who's kind of probably more famous for making. Astrolab Sauvignon Blanc from Marlborough. Um, let's get straight into it and just pour a fairly good amount just to really get a kind of really good surface area. Really swirl it round and then take a really deep sniff. See what you can find on this kind of. I got it's kind of a really refined kind of clover honey in the back with definitely some kind of lemon and lime, citrus kind of fruit on there. Almost uh, there's a kind of earthy component to it. And a kind of a meadowy smell. Let me take it. No, don't have to worry about this spittoon. Hopefully, kind of uh, won't get too um, hammered on the first first show. Did lack a bit of acid. Very, really si soft, supple fruit, but not much acid holding it together. But the fruit's really nice, ripe. quite sweet on the end, almost kind of like really, 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 really fine, kind of tannin almost. Mm, out of probably New Zealand's Pinot Gris, I'd probably give that 88, 89 points out of 100, um, which is not too bad, but um, I do actually prefer the really drier styles and there's a bit of kind of a sweetness at the end of that. And um, the sweetness kind of outshines the acid. And so it's, although it's fairly well made wine, it's, it's just a bit too sweet. Okay, next one we're going to try is the Opawa Pinot Noir. This is the second wine from the Nautilus people in um, Marlborough. And they tend to make quite a decent Pinot. So I just pour a bit in there, swirl it round. Straight on the nose you just get oak, quite a bit of oak. And kind of, you do get fruit coming through and it's quite a nice colour. Um, doesn't look like it's over extracted, although it does look fairly brown around the edges, even though it's only a 2007. There is some black fruit there. Some kind of black currant. Not so much kind of summer fruit, but just really kind of deep kind of black fruit. A lot of it's covered with oak, so it's got really good length. It's got an abundance of fruit there, and then it goes into a quite savoury kind of taste. 
Um, really, really fine kind of tannin structure. Quite good acid. Um, but it's that oak on the nose that kind of like ultimately worries me. Um, hopefully that will fall out at some stage. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is, this is William Hill and it's 04 Pinot Noir, made in Central Otago. And these guys also do another label called Shaky Bridge, which um, is uh, quite well known in New Zealand. And they're in kind of Alexandra, the part of uh, Central Otago, just more Cromwell um, Clyde way rather than Queenstown. Now, this wine on the nose it smells absolutely delicious. It's got really nice good fruit. Not a kind of abundant amount of oak coming through on the nose. A slight kind of uh, foresty, foresty floor kind of component on the nose. More savoury. There's a lot more tannin being displayed. Very fine tannin. And the acid is really good. And the fruit is just going on. Not an overly dark kind of uh, colour to the Pinot, um, but the fruit's really good, the acid's really good, the um, use of oak is very good, it doesn't dominate, it's uh, quite harmonious. Nice dry. Very fine, kind of soft grain tannins. For a New World Pinot, I think it's rates pretty well. Um, obviously not kind of like typical Burgundy, but um, it is quite characteristic of Central Otago. I'll probably give it kind of late 80s, early 90s, um, scoring out of 100. Hopefully, um, on this kind of voyage that we take, kind of doing these videos, kind of we'll discover some kind of hidden gems that uh, rank in the high 90s. But um, it's a pretty good start, I think. And uh, yeah, hope to see you next time. Cheers.